So, welcome back to another episode of Sim City, faster than yours. And if you saw the previous episode, which you can click the link up here, um, you will know that I said I was going to play a few more minutes. Well, I'll be darned if this game isn't so addictive that I just kept right on going for like another 30 minutes. And, um,. Well, you can see we got a lot of money, but I did do a lot of spending, too. Um, I put in a clinic down here. Um, I think we might have had this last time, but uh, I did do some upgrades. In fact, I want to put in another ambulance right now. This is really going to help out the situation because <laughs> um, we're not able to treat the entire area if you look at medical. See, we're not even getting back over here. My goal is to place another clinic back here this episode. Um, zoom out a little bit more, increase the angle. I want to pause the game right now, even though I really want to earn some more money. Uh, I did some upgrading of streets here. I added tons of residential in this area. Uh, I put in a few more parks. Need to put some parks over here, which we'll probably do this episode while I'm playing along. Um, I did put in a bus station, but what I did not do is add in any bus stops. Uh, I wanted to show you guys how that works and um, what's all involved in doing that. They're 200 bucks a piece, so they're fairly cheap. Um, you know, it's uh, it's an easy thing to do. Basically, you're just creating a giant green coverage map so that buses are everywhere. Now, I was reading some articles today that talk about the algorithms that are used. And, of course, we don't know the algorithms. I guess maybe somebody out there does. But the algorithms that basically tell this ambulance how to get where he's going. Um and these traffic algorithms that help you know these construction trucks get back out of the city uh, the moving trucks uh, you know uh, you guys remember from my earlier episodes where you see this is exactly what I'm talking about right here these moving trucks if the algorithm is done correctly they should be smart enough to know that they can come around this way and have gone this way all the way over to here and gone out this way and it would have been the same amount of traffic the same amount of stops and would have been much more productive and they would not have had to wait in traffic instead if we play this you'll see that they're stopping and starting and stopping and starting and stopping and starting and it's just it goes on forever you know, and then we end up in a situation where we have heavy traffic, and there's no traffic over here. The algorithm should be fixing this problem. Um, there's a lot of people who are really upset about it. Personally, I don't like seeing these heavy traffic things, but you know what? I like playing the game. And here's a as another example of a heavy traffic situation. Um, let's see, what are what are these guys? Construction. Okay. Heavy truck got fired from his city job. Some guy. Jade Sanders. Uh, so, I mean, these roads could do with some upgrading. Um, do some things. Now, let's see, what is... Can we get an oil well? There's so much oil around here. 
Uh, that's some of those things that I showed you in the last episode. That's one of those things that I want to do too. And I mean, since this is my industrial area, um, I may pause the recording so you guys don't have to watch me do it. But I'll go through upgrading some of these roads. Get it, once we get a little bit more money, it'll, it'll probably go as high as the medium density roads so that we can have the dual lanes in both directions to improve traffic flow. Um, but, you know, going back to that whole algorithm thing, you, know, you never know what you're getting. Um, what else did I do? I think off camera I did the upgrade of the city hall. Um, we're getting really close to having an opportunity to upgrade uh, city hall again. And, um, you know, that's where we talked about the process of adding in one of these other ones and I think what we wanted to add in was Department of Safety because we can get the larger hospital um, but since we're here let's talk to Dr. Vu They are so glad to, you could join us. To just think it's dreadful misdeeds and crimes we commit. And bless your cold. So you know, crime pays. Go evil. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. That doesn't pay because it's just cost me more money. Um. You like said in my other episodes I have ignored this guy so much. Uh, you'll see him walking around and stuff, and you'll see his little head pop up once you zoom in close enough. Uh, see if anybody else is reporting anything. Life is good. I'm saving for a bigger house. See? Land values. I could upgrade these streets, and these houses would get bigger. No? Uh, let's see. Get off. Land value. Yeah, same here. Um, that might occur. Industry growing to medium density. Yeah, see, demands for more industry are up. Medium density housing. So, you know, I'm just going to go about uh, playing the game. Talk about some of the things we got going on. What is going on here? Oh, people with the bus stop stuff. Alright, so this is going to be the first thing we do. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and start the game back up. Put it in fast. Here, cheetah. And uh, drop down some buses. I mean, you, it's a bus station, you know. Even being so close to the bus station that these people can't walk to the bus station. Well, they have nowhere else to go because there's no bus stops, you know, so... This is just, like, such silliness. You know, now I'm almost making $10,000 an hour, so I'm doing really well. Um, put there, other side of the highway. Over here, over here. I'll put one down here. Bus stop here. We'll go ahead and get some coverage in this area. So, you know, I've almost already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You know, I've spent, what, two times? I'm not really good with math. What, $2,600? You know, and this increases the transit. Now the biggest problem is, as you can see the bus, he's going way off in the distance. And there's only, uh, what, two buses? I guess I'm going to end up having to add another bus before too long. Let's see. Let's go here. Put one over here. Um, you guys let me know if you agree with this whole, um, disorganization 
of the actual Sims themselves. Uh, see, I told you Dr. Voodoo will run around again. Uh, one of the other things that I've actually noticed, um, but it's just not, it doesn't bother me again, is that the Sims, when they leave their houses, don't actually appear to be going back to the same places. Uh, I've noticed it a few times, but then again, I don't sit here and watch the little guy walk down the street either. Um, but something else that I had read was that a sim can walk out of his house or business where he works and then leave. And if that sim decides not to go to a bus stop or does not have a car, that sim will walk all the way home or all the way to work or wherever they were going. Alright, so this is how many buses total? Nine buses. Good deal. So that should pretty much cover the whole city. What are we saying about garbage? There's garbage everywhere. Oh yeah, this is the other thing that I did off camera. These guys they should be out collecting garbage. Uh, this should be doing it. It may have uh, just started working. Let's let's put another uh, let's put another bus stop here so people can get to work. I think there's cars there. More cars. All right, so people are coming to work. One of the things that uh, I ran into in the other game that I was playing was uh, not leaving myself enough room to expand the dump. However, by the time the dump gets expanded, I was already making enough money to purchase this incinerator. Um, that's one of the things that I'm going to buy. I'm not going to buy it yet because I want to do some other stuff and I want to get that uh either larger uh, hospital or larger um larger police station or fire department so the the dump trucks if w if we select garbage we should see dump trucks driving around there they are working 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 and there's a fire uh, what is the problem with medical? Lots of health issues. There are many sick citizens. <laughs> System cannot handle them all. <laughs> yep, full. So we gotta upgrade and add more room. Alright, so this is going to prompt me to go ahead and lay down another lay down another hospital in since so commercial wow look at how many sims are running around so I want to put another hospital in in this area And how about here? And then what we'll probably end up doing is replacing it with an actual hospital. So we want to add another unit. Oh two ambulances. And that should increase the coverage area. That's a good job. That'll work. Help with all the sick people. <laughs> Hair glue factory. Uh, I may need that in a couple of years. Okay. See how we're doing on trash. Picking up trash. Collect it. So see that's good. All my trash guys are out doing their thing. What is this? 
We desire some street cars. I am not doing that quite yet. I am not ready to do that. Industrial is growing to medium density. Not enough shoppers. I mean, I do have quite a bit of commercial. I'm aware of that. Um, I want to build some more industrial and residential areas and guys what I'm gonna do is stop the recording for just a bit and then come back with all of the upgrades that I've done and uh, be right back well welcome back uh, we did a few things uh, you can see I just put in my first school so that's great uh, increase the land value of all these houses so a lot of these will start getting getting to where they want to uh, become larger see with uh, schools you got to put out the school bus stops um, same as you do with the, the bus depot uh, I did go through and upgrade some of the streets back here in the industrial area uh, I wanted to go through that with a few streets while you guys were on with me and I was recording uh, basically you select this tool here road upgrade again it's R and you just select what you want to go to uh, I'm just gonna do low density but you can see how expensive this can get uh, $1,000 for medium density uh, this street here is already medium density another 500 bucks for high density just gonna upgrade these to low and just to get some of it taken care of for now um, probably help with some of this commercial real estate um, you know I think I said it before this is one thing that I wish was a little bit more intelligent um, this is a lot of work I don't know why I can't just select a bunch of roads and then decide I want to upgrade them all to a certain level and then it just does it uh, you know, let's go ahead and finish this out taking these all the way up to medium density uh, but if you notice at the bottom of the screen I'm now up over 16,000 in population and uh, while well, I was over $150,000 um, but what does this guy have to say? Yeah, I am not doing that because if you remember from the first episode, uh, they like to cause fires. <laughs> uh, well, there are too many sick in the clinic people in this town. Let's get out of the road upgrade tool. Let's see how the clinic is doing. There's only 11 people in my clinic there. Clinic over here. Oh, I need to upgrade. Guess that's what we'll have to do. Let's see what happens here. eight patients waiting so they should start getting treated yep there we go yeah not too bad only five people dying a day I guess that's good I don't know. go ahead and put the sign on top let's everybody know what's up <laughs> Okay, so let's do some school bus. Eleven students yesterday. Alright, well, what we're going to do is we're going to put out the sign and put out the flagpole. Go ahead and add another bus because there are only 3,000. Oh, it's two buses. And. Oh, 
Hey, there's our garbage trucks. See, this is so disorganized. I mean, th th these other guys were just over here. I don't understand this. Uh, another thing we got that we're going to take care of here in a second is upgrade City Hall, and that'll make everybody happy around here. Um, what is it saying it wants now? Not enough shoppers. Alright. Well, let's go to school. Crime in progress. Ensure traffic is clear between the police. Where is the crime? So why did two police cars go to that? It could just be one. I don't understand that. Maxis Man, I need to put his little place in. Maxis Manor. Uh, it doesn't do anything for, uh, like, making the people happy or increasing the land value, so... Not a hundred percent sure what the real purpose is there. Uh, since we got the money, I'm going to go ahead and drop another police station out here. Um, I think this is a good idea because I don't want to be in that position where there's no coverage. Let's go ahead and do it here. And then we'll add a police car and the pole and the sign cuz cuz I don't know what does it say on it just police station yeah Well, that was a good sound effect. So I don't have any police stations over in this area. I guess that could be a problem. Now let's go ahead and do that. And then we will add police cars. And the pole and the sign. Pretty covered for police. Fire department's getting busy there. What does this guy say? Oh, it's the. We need to visit a clinic or a hospital. Treat five more sick patients. Okay. So is this clinic full? No. Is this clinic full? Almost. I guess we're upgraded. again. School. Still haven't done the bus stops for the school. Okay, so these have a really big coverage area. Um, but, again, we'll go back to this whole algorithm thing. They're not as smart as you think they should be. Uh, it only increases land value or happiness for residents. It doesn't do anything for commercial value at all. Um, 
what I think we're going to do is drop these school bus stops make all these people happy and then we're going to end the episode um, going to try my hardest not to do anything off camera <sighs> but it's so much fun uh, lots of happy people that's a good thing now over here because these are residential and then we'll put one more uh, here and then we're good for coverage. I'm going to put one right here anyway because I am going to make this residential and I am going to add a park park where's my coverage circle where's the disc I think I'm gonna add this park back here in the corner yeah and then Large skate park. Here. Tons of happy people. Look at that. Okay, well, guys, I, I appreciate you watching. Um, subscribe, please. And, uh, you know, check out last uh, the last episode and then uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and record another episode tonight, and uh, that way it'll be ready for the weekend. So please subscribe, like, and do comment. I appreciate the suggestions and the help and hints. Thank you very much. It's faster than yours.